The issue is Dawa is by the winning of hearts. I can tell you this. Today we live in a world, we think it's a strange world, it's not a strange world. Today the world is exactly like what it was in the time of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the famous quote of Imam Zuhri Rahmatullah Alayhi, one of the teachers of Imam Malik, Imam Zuhri said that Islam spread the fastest after Fatha Makkah because for the first time the non-Muslim was able to see the life of a Muslim close up. What was the akhlaq? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is going on the expedition to Hunain for the uh, conquest of Taif and there are a whole lot of people who have newly converted to Islam with him among them many of the young leaders of Quraysh Sayyidina Bilal radiallahu anhu stands up to give adhan and some of the young leaders, young men of Quraysh and from very high uh, caste families so they uh, made fun of Sayyidina Bilal when Sayyidina Bilal radiallahu anhu is saying Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar and so on this man is making fun of Sayyidina Bilal radiallahu anhu. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hears that. When the adhan is over, he sends somebody, he says, call them. So this group of five or six young men from Quraysh come and they know they are in serious trouble. And now this is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa hukuma. It is his army. He is the general. He says, call them. They come, they sit in front of him. He says to them, who was making fun of Bilal? And he knows who it was and they couldn't hide it. So the person in the front, he said, Ya Rasulullah, I was the one. So he said, come close to me. Now this man is in, absolutely, he is shivering because he knows that he, if I come close to him, maybe he will signal to somebody and they will chop up my head or something because I did this thing. And this is now, he's in the, inside the Muslim army. I mean, where, where is he going to escape from? So Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam calls him close. And then Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, shall I teach you how to make the other? See the akhlaq of Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He tells him, shall I teach you how to make the other? The man says, Ya Rasulullah, you will teach me? Yeah, I'll teach you. He said, SubhanAllah, yes, Ya Rasulullah, please teach me how to make the other. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, repeat after me. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And the man repeats. Ashadu la ilaha illallah. The man repeats. Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. The man repeats, Hayya ala salah. The man repeats, Hayya ala al-falah. The man repeats, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. The man repeats, La ilaha illallah. The man repeats, and then what does he do? He says, Ya Rasulullah, Bilal is your muazzin in Medina. He says, Ya Rasulullah, make me the make me your muazzin in Makkah. He said, Permit me to be your muazzin in Makkah. And brothers and sisters, that man died at the age of 99, and he called the Adhan every day. And he said every day, I used to make wudu, I would go into the masjid, I would make tawaf of the Kaaba, and after that, for every salah, I would make tawaf of the Kaaba, and then I would call the other. What is the way to change hearts? Not by chopping off heads. Islam does not need a bunch of dead bodies, let me assure you. When was the last time you tried to make a dead body call the Kalima? Try it, go to a dead body and say, say, Ashhadu Allah la ilaha illallah. Islam does not need dead people. Islam needs alive people. Islam needs the people of this world to be happy. Islam needs the people of this world to say, Alhamdulillah, that you exist because you introduce us to our Creator. Islam will spread by the winning of hearts. Islam never spread by the sword. Islam never spread through the barrel of a gun. Islam never spread by dropping bombs on anybody. Islam never spread by violence. Islam spread by the winning of hearts and Islam will spread by the winning of hearts.